Yeah, I had to go back in the, um, what's it called? The appointments today to see if it had the little knife next to it. Because I knew we were doing a straight razor and you said we could do, we could record. <laughs> I had a little fed head this morning. Too. I was just gonna say, do you sleep on this side? I slept on both sides last Did night. No. Now you're thinking about it. Well, here's the thing, Tito. You were playing with her R O P E. So now. She would rather you play with that than sit on your lap during the haircut. Mm -hmm. You already know. So what are the plans for the weekend? Work. Ew. Yeah, I gotta work this weekend. Well, you did sleep on the side too. <laughs> but it's fine because then I got it all the weekends in May off, so. Every weekend in May? Pretty much. Nice. It's self on that. Maybe not the full weekend, but maybe like a Thursday, Friday, or Friday, Saturday. Every weekend, so. So, I seen that your wife, Kira, she posted a son. Is it, are they called sonograms? Oh, ultrasound? Ultrasound. What's a sonogram then? Yeah. But anyway, she posted the ultrasound picture and she had said in it, baby boy, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, did she not post a gender review? I think she was waiting until we got these ones from the anatomy scan, just to <laughs> put it all make sure. Well, you still get to see your reaction, I guess, in the gender reveal, because I'm like, she says it's a boy, where is the, I'm going on through the page, I'm like, I don't see it. Are you not going to use the footage? She's supposed to post that with the golf clubs right now, I don't know what she did with the world. Oops. That's okay. It, but, I mean... I knew it was a boy just by your face. Mm hmm. You didn't even complete the appointment yesterday. The. Anatomy scan. Yeah. I gotta go, gotta go back and do it again. Why? Because he's being a stubborn ass and wouldn't move from her right side. Oh. And they need to get like his chin and like face and stuff. Because that's what they measure the head and the heart and the brain and the spine and all that stuff. But he's being a stubborn ass with his chin tucked in and his hands in front of his face on the right side. <laughs> He's your son. <laughs> he, he wouldn't move, and as soon as we got home, she was like, yeah, just move to the left side. Oh, wow. So, I'm going to go back in two weeks on the 10th, I think, at 2 o'clock. Which I think is my next appointment with you. I'll come get that fresh fade in the morning and go to the doctor's in the afternoon. The 10th of May? Yeah. Okay. I think that's when I had my next appointment. I think I like, book them for like a whole month. You did. You booked a month in advance. Um, oh, I roll. Yeah, that's good. Wave to the camera. The camera's on. <laughs> you see it blinking? Which one? Oh, that one? Yeah. Either that or our Wi-Fi's out. Our Wi-Fi's probably out. <laughs> it's usual. You don't ever watch the cameras in here. I just passed him when... Uh... Yeah, he texts me. Down by Lindy, I mm -hmm. saw him like, is that Will? Because he's the flex. I'm like, which one is he driving today? The flex, yeah. He's gonna do the oil change and stuff in it today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our Wi-Fi must be out. That's why it's doing that. We have the worst internet service here. Did you get your water stuff fixed? Yes. Mm -hmm. With hesitation. More figure. No? She's choosing? Thinking about it. What do you want to do, big girl? So we did get it fixed-ish. There's like one little driplet where the leakage was mm -hmm. every 10 minutes. And the stepdad thinks that it's going to like eventually like go away, which I don't know. But we dumped a thing of bleach in our well. I'm pretty sure it's like highly concentrated bleach. Why did you make it your own batch of hot sauce and dump it in there? No, that would be very sadistic of me and I'm not that nasty. 
Um, I just put pure alcohol on you, like 90% alcohol. Boom! We hit no bumps. But I did a load of laundry, which I just washed like, whatever, crappy towels and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I walked in the door, it smelled like a pool in here. I was like, wow, it smells really good in the house, like really clean. And I wash our dryers in the basement. The whole basement smelled like a pool. Bleach City. So luckily it was just like crappy stuff that I had washed and it wasn't really important. And then I took a shower. And my eyes were burning. Maybe you smell like a pool. And then I smell like a pool. I was like, you smell like chlorine the whole night. I'm laying next to you. But the whole bathroom smells like chlorine too. So I've done three loads of laundry, dishwasher twice, multiple showers, him and I, and it still smells like bleach water. <laughs> I made spaghetti the other night, and Will walks through the door and he says, well, I guess we're going out to eat because I forgot to tell you don't make spaghetti with our water. It's, and, cause I made bleach noodles, basically. Mm. Tiss, tiss, tiss. Hey girl, what are you doing? <laughs> She's sassy because she wants to play with her string. That's what she wants. Kira went and got a spray tan last week. Ooh. She can do that because she can't do the tanning bed. Right. And uh, she came home, took a nap. I went out somewhere for a little bit because you had to wait like three or four hours before you could rinse off and shower. Right. She still smells like a tanning bed. It smells like that? Yeah, I guess they do kind of self tanner. Did it get on anything, or does it look pretty good? No, it looks good. It just like smells like you just came out of a painting bed. Mm. Why well, haven't made her feel good? Yeah, it's the eleventh next week. It's nice enough for her sisters having a. She's having a party regardless for her uh, two-year-old birthday. Okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. picture she posted with 18 weeks. She probably just looks like she ate a little too many carbs. She's really tiny. Yeah. Is your car running? No. Do you hear what I hear? Yeah, something's going on with that. It sounded like it was... Yeah, you know, I just saw my little corner by Oh yeah, know. the white rusted out truck. But it sounded like they were like sitting out idling for a while. I think mine was that one. What the heck? Big girl. It's a girl, come see Tito. She just wants to play. Tomorrow and Saturday. The draft. First pick is 8 o'clock tonight. Did you see the new Detroit sign? Yeah. Is it on, it's on 94, right? Yeah. You sound very underwhelmed. It wasn't all that they said that was going to be. It lights up, right? Well, there's lights up underneath that like, shine out of it, I think. Doesn't it light up? Like fancy lights? Whatever. Like if they're gonna do it right, like everybody said, like make the D in old English D like yeah. Detroit. Like that's like, what they should have done. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share a saying with you that my dad would always say, and it goes for everything. Whether the job be big or small, do it right and not at all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
want that Detroit sign because it sucks. sold some tires and rims, wheels and whatever. Is a wheel the same thing as a rim? Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. It's just some guy that lived in Columbus, so we met him half, well not really halfway, we met him in uh, Monroe the other day. So we drove past Detroit, I was so excited, I'm like, where's the sign? So we have one of my Friends is working undercover for the draft today. They're gonna have a lot of that down there. Is that the one you went to the horse race or the car race with? Mm -hmm. Undercover. Basically, just means you get to wear your street clothes and go work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be comfortable. It's not actually going to be fun. And then another one of my friends, he's dating a girl that lives in Florida, and she's coming in, and they're he's taking her to the draft. Oh, good luck with that. I think they like crowded stuff like that because they enjoy like concerts. I don't like concerts and stuff, but this this weekend is gonna be so many people. Yeah, I'm not a big crowd person. I don't like big crowds. I'll leave before the last song. I just want to this four tires sitting in the living room. Yeah, so I picked those up yesterday from this place called Vans in Richmond. Mm -hmm. It's for the SRT, for the Jeep. Look at that. Blotter, 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 blotter. Oh, you just come here, figaro. Figaro, come see the She's trying buddy. to jump like right when you turn it here. Oh, uh, my bad. Hello. So you better get done with that haircut so you can come play with my. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it because it's like saying walk to a dog, you know? Mm. I don't know why that's her favorite toy of all time. It's not even a real toy. I've seen a really cheap version of one of these at Burlington. Oh, the ball thing? Or? Yeah, the shaver. Mm -hmm. This is like $5.99. I was kind of thinking about buying it to compare it. Cause this one's around like 80 bucks. Damn. I don't mess them around with my equipment. Right. That's the thing like, hair cutting, especially for fades, it gets expensive because if you're doing fades like this, ball fades or really tight fades, you need more than one or two or three clippers. Right. You're not gonna have a one clipper that does it all. So yeah, I probably use. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Probably about I would say four hundred dollars worth of equipment for every hair cut that you get. That makes sense for both sides. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's how much it costs every time. But that $400, I've done how many haircuts with, you know? Oh, yeah. I could spend half of that on the same amount of tools, but I would have to keep buying them every year because they would go bad. Right. So 
So yeah, you could probably spend, I'd say like a good, if you want to have the full setup, around a thousand bucks and you have everything. And that's like a chair included, scissors, capes, clippers, combs. Like you'd have a whole bar to shop for that. Yeah. And then really just cleaning supplies and clipper oil and stuff to keep up. But doing nails, holy crap, it's about $400 every, I don't know, couple of months on supplies. Doing nails is very expensive. Uh, so every other time she'll get them done. So she'll go get like the full mani pedi thing and get them all done. And then the next time she'll just do her hands and do the dip herself. And then, the, and then she'll go back again when it's time for her mani pedi and have them do everything again. I went with her once. Do you like getting pedicures, manicures? It wasn't bad. Did you ever get a manicure or just a pedicure? I got both last time. She, she's like, I made an appointment for both of us. I paid for it. Just go and we'll get it done. I was like, all right. Well, that's like a nice date. Yeah, it was like, like nine or ten right when they opened. Okay. The only thing I didn't like that I'm glad that you told me about was they have like a matte finish on top for guys. Because they yeah. told me that last time I got like the shiny shit on my yeah. shoulder. Thing. I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling the shiny stuff. Yeah, get Matt, you don't even know what's there. I was gonna surprise Will yesterday because he worked two jobs yesterday. He did glass block, worked his repo job, and then he was had to go help out a friend with the friend's car. And I didn't know he had to go to his friend's house after work, so he came home, we had dinner, and I was gonna set up the massage bed out for him. Mm -hmm. So like, your day's done, like you just work two jobs, boom, here's a nice massage, like surprise. And he's on the phone, as soon as I get home, we're gonna eat dinner and then I gotta go to... All right, so maybe, <laughs> maybe tomorrow, <laughs> we'll see. Cause tonight I'm working late. Mm. That's what you should do for Kira is a uh, schedule like a pre pre needle um, massage. I'm sure she's already got that done. <laughs> you guys ever get a couple's massage together? We did when we were in Mexico. How was that? Actually, really good, and it was wasn't even through the hotel. Really? No. They wanted like four hundred dollars for a couple's massage in the hotel for like a half hour. Yeah. We got two Mexican ladies on the beach under a tent right outside the hotel. Even better. Got an hour for like thirty bucks, forty bucks a piece. Wow. Yeah, he's and never. They would go like whatever like hard dish you want. I like never really got a massage before I cared going and get like deep tissue and all that stuff that she's been going for a while. Mm -hmm. But she's like, oh yeah, go ahead, dig in on my shit, I don't care. I'm like, let's start light mm -hmm. and we'll see how it goes and then start, you know, get harder towards the end if, you know, if I'm not too bad. And she was like spot on with everything. Oh, that's good. She did it from like the calves up to my neck and the shoulders, the back and everything, the legs. Yeah, I like deep tissue. Make me bruise! Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's never had a professional massage. Oh, just me. I guess you want to call that professional, but like they had like the like towel set up for your face when you lay on your stomach and they had the yeah. oil and stuff like that. But oh, yeah. Kind of like their own little setup under a tent in the beach. Like, at that point, I didn't care. I felt amazing. Oh yeah. It was our like second to last day there, so it was like the day we like, took like the, these little like 
five or six people, like all glass bolt, and they would roll up on the beach by the hotel, and then I think you paid them like 20 bucks for round trip per person, and it took you over to where like the famous arch was on the beach over there, mm. drop you off for like an hour, two hours, and then they bring you back, and you give them like your second pass on the way back. Well, the guy we got um, dropped everybody off somewhere else, and then went to like the downtown dock area. Cause he had to pick something up. I'm like, dude, I'm all for the ride. Like, whatever. Like, it's all scenery to me. Like, go downtown, see how the boats in and out and everything. Right. He's like, oh, it's a race I'm like, hell yeah. I know what that means. So, he, when he got out, he picked up his stuff and walked back with a six pack and got them to his cooler. He goes, here you go. I'm like, pop a couple on the way back. And then, we were pulling out of the harbor. There was like, probably 10 seals on top of the, the deck just hooting and hollering. So, I got a, you slowed down, got a little video with the pictures of that. Oh, cool. And the last night is when we went, her and I went into downtown by ourselves and had a dinner down there and walked around for a couple hours and saw a little, like, people putting on their own shows on the sidewalk and stuff. Mm-hmm. You just tip them. Now, are you guys going to go on, like, a baby moon? Has she talked about that at all? No. I'm sure after, like, the first year or so and people can watch them permanently without having to have her, like, pump and feed them and everything. We'll take a little vacation. Yeah. I kept seeing that, like, right before the baby's born, people go on what's called a baby moon. Yeah. Like one last trip, just the two of you. But you'll have plenty of time going up north to the cottage and stuff. No. Once she finally jump on your lap? Yes, she did. Yeah, I think her last big hurrah for the baby comes is going to be the 4th of July weekend at the cottage. September, right? Yeah, but I'm thinking it's going to be like around the 20th of August. Oh, really? So that's good as like a planned C-section. Oh, yeah. A lot of times they don't let that go the full term. Is she feeling better? Yeah. It's kind of in like a, a good stage of pregnancy right now. Yeah. Ow! Damn! What'd you do? Hey girl, watch your claws. Come on. There you go. Put those that babies back in. Yeah, she gets. She just had her nails done too. It don't matter. They know how to use them. Mm hmm. When I do her nails, it's got to be like a baby. She's got to be like sleeping. Otherwise, she don't like it. No, sir. Just getting my finishing <coughs> touches up. You be nice to Tito under there, you hear me? Yes, you be nice. Mm-hmm. I got one guy, his wife is allergic to cats. But he likes cats. But she's super, super allergic, so... The girl always tries to jump on his lap, huh? then she gets all confused, like, why don't you love me? It's always the ones that don't want the cat on them, and the cat's like, hey, hey. Here I am. You know what I forgot to do? What's that? The microphone. Huh? I got it sitting right here. <laughs> I said it. I did. And then I lied. Sorry, I'm going to get the hair off your face. <laughs> this is my 
younger, when I my first job, cutting hair was at a Bo Rich, remember them? Mm -hmm. Um, there was this guy, and you always had to ask, would you want his eyebrows cut? He says, if you don't ask me, you don't get a tip. Alright, so of course, you know, they don't pay you anything to work there hardly. So, uh, yes, would you like your eyebrows cut? Absolutely, because if you didn't ask me, I wouldn't tip you. Okay. They tip you like a dollar or two, whatever, nothing crazy, but you know. And so then I learned to always ask people if they want their eyebrows done. I think I've offended more people by asking if they want their eyebrows trimmed. Than it really worked out? <laughs> then it worked out, exactly. And it's always the ones who really need it done that get so offended. Don't touch my eyebrows. And I just ask. I just try to make them from one to two. That's it. You want one eyebrow? Okay, you want it? You Stick it out. It's just so much easier for us to do it for you than you to do it yourself. Because right. we can get on angles that you can't. Yeah, that was one of those things too. And I thought, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna ask every client. Man, I would just take people off. Would you like your eyebrows trimmed today? Don't even ask. You mean extra loud out there today? Yeah, her motor is going. Did you probably didn't notice, but did the house smell good when you walked in? I always smell fine when I walk in. I mopped everything yesterday. I got all the good cleaning stuff. Man, I had all the smells going. I knew I was gonna be busy, busy girl today, so. My house looked good for you guys. Take your shoes off. It's like, oh, this is my own house. Take your shoes off. With those muddy pits. He's filthy when he gets on the work. Are you ready for the straight razor? Mm -hmm. I'm always ready for that. It's the after part of the. <laughs> I'm evil <laughs> when it comes to. Yes, I am. Straight razor time. There you go, getting a little sun on herself. Yeah, she's sunning herself. Coconut oil. You have a regular towel today, right? Um, for <laughs> the hot sauce afterwards. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got these brand new towels I want to try on you. I'm just kidding. I will not do that ever again. Never, ever, ever again. Mix that bleach water with the hot sauce. That'll oh be, my woo. gosh. No, it's just alcohol. That's what you do when somebody pisses you off. Yeah. Catch a case that way. No, oh, sir, I didn't throw any hands. I threw some alcohol and bleach. Oh, yeah, when he came home the other night, because I made spaghetti. Like, Please tell me you didn't use our water to make spaghetti. Or eat any of that yet? Yeah, and I'm like, well, what water was I supposed to use, sir? He walks over and smells the spaghetti. It's like, it's bleach! I was like, you're being dramatic. And I had some extra noodles off to the side. Puts it in my face, he's like, smell that. <laughs> I made bleach noodles. Do you remember that story of that lady who was trying to off her husband and she kept adding bleach water to the coffee? <laughs> no. I don't recall that story, sir, but I believe you. I've heard other stories like that, of adding certain things to the food a little bit, slowly start poisoning them, so then kind of all at once, and then it's like, it's like it's not going to be traceable. Uh, yeah. 
I guess. I thought I'd get them like a whole dose right then and there and knocking them off. Give them a little bit of time so it takes them like a few months to a year. Right. Truck keeps going back and forth. That's like the third or fourth time. What's going on? Who is this person? Okay, we're packing heat up in here. We've got any stoppers. You don't want them. You don't want none of this smoke. I don't know how to use it, but I got it. <laughs> well, I do. That's right. Right. I just started dating Will and he was looking at a glass block job and a lot of the places that we work on are not necessarily in a great area mm -hmm. and very sketchy. I've got a bump there so I'm not going to He goes inside and he's me in the car and there I'm going to lock the doors and he puts a pistol on the house. Anybody messes with you, just put it in their face. <laughs> just, just, or just show them this. It's not loaded, they'll get the point. And I thought it was like the sexiest thing ever. I was like, wow, did he really just do that? And he was so nonchalant about it. He's like, just put this in their face. They'll get the they'll get the picture. I'm like, yeah, I guess they will. That is a <laughs> I don't know what I would do and get that ever happened. I wouldn't do that because I don't know. <laughs> Heck no. But that's my turn. Bad boy, but a good man, you know? Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. Best of all the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plop that paper towel back in there. Ooh, baby! I want to get with you and take your picture. Do you ever do that? Just bust out into lyrics that you know? Once in a while. Not as often as I do? No. <laughs> okay, sir. Are you ready? No, but just get over with. It's time for the hot sauce. Now, because it's paper towel, I have to hit it a little more. Mm-hmm. So you say. Ready? Deep breath in. It's not going to hurt that bad. I'm telling you. Look at that. Fit girl's jumping on your lap for comfort. Deep breath in. That wasn't so bad, was it? No, did you dilute it a little bit? No, but you want to know why? It's because that coconut oil is still on you. Mm. So it kind of... Absorbs it, blocks a little bit. So yeah, I guess it is diluted. I knew it wasn't going to be that bad. And you don't have any like little scrapes or anything like that. I'm going to spritz you though. <laughs> Just because there was so much coconut oil on you. Dave? I must say, you're looking mighty fine. I always do. Yeah. Look at that fade. Butter. I'm in a silly mood today. <laughs> Alright. Thank you much. Bye.